Ryan Navarrete alongside Cam Manna and Matt Scalzo for today's edition of pregame Tomahawk Talk. The YD Red Sox are at Doran Park tonight. On the bump for board will be Matthew Marshall. We already saw him once this season. Matt, tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, well, he came out He came out and started against Orleans, and it was a tough go around him for him and Bourne as a whole. Six runs allowed, but not all of them earned against him. They all came in the same inning in a 6-4 loss to the Firebirds. Overall, he did a good job. Just some things kind of trickled out of control in that inning against the Firebirds, and I think for him, really, it's just got to come out and control the zone. He didn't have any strikeouts, but he forced a lot of ground balls and fly balls. And with what we saw last night against Katuit, gusty wins, and it's a deep outfield, plays into his favor. Now, there are some new faces in the Bourne lineup today. Cam, tell us about Gage Harrelson and Bryce Edlin. Yes, we'll start with Gage out of Texas Tech, a really good freshman season. Batted 320, 45 RBIs. He's going to bat first tonight, a lot of speed on the base pass. Actually almost batted 500 in his high school season. And Bryce Edlin, the Bravos fans know him, 2022 playoff MVP, a guy that's going to bring leadership for this team at the shortstop position. So two must-gets for the Bravos. Completely. And obviously, you know, last night the team really struggled with hitting Matt. What can kind of right those wrongs today? I think you just got to take it one day at a time. Last night, just two hits, and they were no hit through six innings against Katuit. You saw the same starter, same relievers as well against the Kettleers. I think you just got to look at it. Fresh day, fresh faces in the lineup. See if something changes here. And going against Matthew Fernandez on YD, kind of had an up and down season at Pitt and didn't have his best stuff in his first appearance of the season for the Red Sox. I look for them to try and get ahead early, be aggressive at the plate, and try and work this pitcher. The Braves still searching for their third win tonight against YD. Cam, Matt, myself on the call. Allie Navarrete here pregame alongside head coach Scott Landers. Coach, last night against Katuit, team struggled a bit hitting wise. What did you tell them to kind of rebound today? I mean, uh, we, I think we've struggled the last two times out against Katuit. Uh, same pitchers, both both games, but you know, we came out two nights ago and had 14 hits and against some good arms at Chatham, a really good arm at the start, but we just didn't get anything going yesterday and you know, today's a new day in baseball and you know, hopefully it's different today. We're in that time of year where you've got guys leaving, guys coming in. What do you do to get those new players acclimated as quickly as possible? Oh man, it's it's day by day, but you got to get them in here and, and talk with them and just get them going back in the swing of things. You know, they've been home for a week or two, so we got to get them back on the field and get them up to speed, but we're going to have to do it on the run. So it's good to have some new faces in here. We're going to miss the, the other guys, but, you know, now it's go time. I wanted to ask about one new face in particular because he's not actually that new. He was your playoff MVP last season, Bryce Eblen. He's back. What went into getting him back to Bourne? Not much. <laughs> um, you know, Bryce is a great kid. He loved it here last year, and you know he didn't. I don't think he had quite the year he wanted to at Alabama. He had some injuries, and you know he just wanted to come back and, and show what he's capable of. Um, you know, and we would love to have him back. And YD, a really hot team right now. What are you doing to kind of prepare for this matchup? I think it's the same every day. You know, just come and, and do what we're supposed to do. But. You know, at the end of the day, we've lost a lot of close games, and we got to get on the other end of that. And hopefully, it starts today. But you know, YD is no different than the other guys, um, and everybody's in the same boat. Guys are coming in, guys are leaving. Um, so some of the stats don't really mean much. We just got to go and play our game and figure our guys out. Good luck today. Thank you. Thank you.